Hello. What's going on? Um, we're here for a sketch book tour. I didn't even have mine. Grab your water for the sketch book tour. It's not gonna be as long as my vlogs, but definitely staying hydrated. Whew, I'm a little out of breath from getting my water. To stay hydrated during this video, every time I say sketch or sketchbook, I'm gonna need you to take a sip. And you might think I'm joking, but I'm actually dead serious. Please stay hydrated out there. We only do hydration here. Hydration and bad dancing. But anyways, welcome to a sketchbook tour. Um, this is a sketchbook I did throughout 2020. Wild year, huh? This is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook. They're my absolute favorite sketchbooks ever. They lay flat, they're bound, they're not spiral bound, they are whatever this kind of bound is. Number one sketchbook in my eyes, buy them over and over and over. Big shout out to these sketchbooks. If you're curious about any supplies that you see in this book, I have a frequently asked questions page on my website and I have all my favorite supplies listed there. So if anything piques your interest or catches your eye, I bet the supply is in my frequently asked questions page, which I will put in the description of course. This is a good one. I actually really like this sketchbook. My inspiration came in waves because you know it was 2020, but I'm so happy to be done and to let it go. I've already started my next sketchbook and this guy just seems ancient to me, but we're gonna tour it. I hope you have your water, maybe a snack. I need you to buckle up because this is gonna be a crazy tour. Crazy, a crazy tour, so you better buckle up. So let's, let's tour. I like this dance, it's like a little puppy. <laughs> Seriously, I will see you on my desk, right over there. Um, all right. Hi, so this is a sketchbook. This, this is a sketchbook. <laughs> this is a Strathmore mixed media sketchbook. It's my absolute favorite kind of sketchbook. I use them all the time. Also, I will put all the artists of these stickers tagged on this video. First thing is first, this is my first sketchbook I've ever covered in stickers. And let me tell you, I don't like it. <laughs> I'm very much a one, one sticker sketchbook kind of kind of girl. I saw some other artists with like really cool sketchbooks covered in stickers and I was like, how cute. Let me try that out and I regret it. Do I love the stickers individually, of course, but this is, I don't, this will not be happening again for me. Anyways, let's start. First page. This is probably my favorite painting in this whole sketchbook, to be honest but I love this painting. I made it into a print and it's still in my shop and I'm still not sick of it. It's my YouTube banner. It's my Patreon banner. This painting is so cute. I still love it. I started this in March, 2020. A year later, I still love her. Look, so cute. <laughs> When I started this sketchbook, I wanted it to be less fragile than my other sketchbooks. I tend to make more finished looking pieces in my sketchbooks, but I wanted to be more free flowing. I wanted to experiment with different media than I usually do, different subjects, different color palettes. I wanted to let loose a little bit. From an outside perspective, I can see how my sketchbook might look like more finished pieces. Um, but honestly, this is just the way I sketch sometimes. I don't do preliminary like pencil sketches. I just like put the color down and start building. It's a very quick uh, making process, but it's, some of them turn out to look more finished. Like the spread looks like legit a finished spread. And I think that <laughs> kind of discourages people when they look at my sketchbook, but just keep in mind that all pages are different. You know, all artists are different. Everyone treats their sketchbook different and that's okay. On this page, I feel like I really embodied the goals that I wanted. I didn't care what colors I was using. I layered, I collaged, I did it all really. It was really fun. I remember having a lot of fun on this page. I do think I stuck with the goal of being free and making this just a free flowing art space for myself. I had a lot of fun in this sketchbook. I mean, keep in mind, I did this pretty much throughout 2020 and my inspiration came in waves, my motivation came in waves. It kinda, you know, you were there for 2020. But I am proud of myself for continuing to experiment through this with different things I wouldn't usually draw, different compositions, different media, you know, go me. 
This is the page where I fell in love with drawing with 2B pencils. I was never a pencil artist ever, and then I used them for this page, and now I love them. Shout out to me for making this <laughs> page. <laughs> um, I love 2B pencils, they're great. One of my patrons asked me if I use fixative, because you can see that it kind of runs over to the next page just because graphite's loose and so color pencil can also run over to the next page, but I don't use fixative. I um, don't, I want, I don't use it because one, I don't have it, and two, I don't want my sketchbook to be a very fragile place. Like I want just the materials to do whatever they want when I'm done sketching and just letting go of a little bit of control was my goal. So I don't use fixative. And honestly, the run over isn't that bad for me, which is pretty sick. <laughs> but I did ask my patrons for some questions while I do the sketchbook tour. They asked for some advice for free sketching, which I am happy to share. Okay, the sun's beaming in here now. Okay, cool. Now the sun's going away again. I'm sorry for the shifting light. It's just that that's the kind of day it is, okay? The first question I'm gonna answer is, do I have any advice for free sketching? Um, yes, I do. My process for free sketching is to be as prepared as possible for when I start making art. You're gonna wanna make everything ready to go once you sit down and you start making so you don't have to think about anything besides making art once you start. Because you wanna keep that momentum. If I lose the momentum, I lose inspiration. My mind gets trailed in different directions. So I try to have, I try to gather a bunch of reference photos before I start drawing or have some ideas of what I wanna draw so that I don't have to think about that. That's such a hard thing to figure out is what am I gonna draw? It's such, it's like the curse of sketchbooking and making art is what am I gonna draw? So you're gonna wanna figure that out before you start. I also like to have all of my supplies within arm's length, gather some things I'd like to try, some things I'd like to use, some things I'm curious about that I might have packed away, make sure they're out before I start so I can just grab them and let them fall into my process rather than having to go dig through all my drawers and storage and have to think about it because I probably won't think of it once I start. Another tip is to make quick decisions and to go in without a plan. If it's your vibe, try, try to work in your sketchbook without doing a sketch before you put down your marks. That's something I love doing. I'm kind of, I feel like people have kind of noticed that about me that I don't do a lot of sketching. It helps you let go of that control of making something perfect because you don't have time to fuss with your original sketch. You just have to start being bold. And that's fun for me. So maybe that might be fun for you. Another tip is to go in with really quick blobby shapes. Like this whole page I did with just big gray blobs. Just these gray blobs. And then I went in with the darker tones and then I went in with the black to refine what I wanted to draw. This is like the embodiment of looseness, <laughs> this page is. This is free flowing sketching for me. I love to do this. Do I love the result? It's okay. Do I think it was really fun? I did think it was really fun. So, you know, pros and cons, it's a sketchbook, man. The next question my patrons ask along the same lines is how to make sketchbooks fun. My number one, number one goal when going into a sketchbook spread, a new sketchbook, anything sketch related, is to have fun. I go in usually without a plan. Um, it just depends on the day what I think is fun. I think sketching sometimes can be scary because you let yourself feel like it needs to be really good. Or you saw someone else's sketchbook and you think that's the direction you want to make yours go in and it's not going in that direction yet. Just have fun and you'll get to where you want to go. I'm, I'm a big, big believer in the fun mindset. Go into sketchbook pages picking colors you love, picking subjects you love. It's okay to draw the same thing over and over if that's what you're into, if that's the fun for you today. Keep doing it. You're gonna get really good at it. Do what you like. If you like to experiment, experiment. If you like to draw the same thing over and over, do it. Literally, as long as you're making, 
I see that as a success. My last tip for having fun in your sketchbook is to know that you don't have to share your sketchbook with anyone. You don't have to use it as content for social media. You can always cover up things you think are ugly or you don't like. You can paint over it. You can tape something over it. You can rip the whole page out. Nothing is permanent. It's all for fun, low key. This is getting towards 2021 now, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is definitely 2021. And near the end of sketchbooks, I get super uninspired. Like I don't like the way the sketchbook lays anymore because the thick side is over here and I'm just sick of it and I'm ready to move on. But I'm also super stubborn about finishing my sketchbooks, regardless of if it's really great or not. I want all of the pages to be full. It's definitely something that would haunt me if I did not finish a sketchbook. I would have probably, you know, have wild nightmares about it. You never know. This is actually one of my favorite spreads in here, apart from that raccoon drawing at the beginning. I was a little shocked that it turned out because I was literally just trying to finish my sketchbook. <laughs> but I actually love this. I made this into a sketchbook postcard for my next shop update. And it was also a Patreon reward. Um, or some birdies. So I really, I tried to fight the urge to just like do some really weak drawings at the end of this. This this page really shows that I just wanted to fill the rest of my sketchbook. I don't have a problem with it, but it definitely shows that I wanted this page full because it was the last one. And then this is my last page. Um, I did love this sketchbook. I thought she was super fun, but I'm, I have already started a new sketchbook and I'm loving it so far. I love the feeling of a fresh sketchbook, so good work out there, buddy. I'm so happy I finished that. Oh goodness. And she's done. Let's go back to an outro. Peace. Okay, did you guys like the sketchbook? Pretty cool, uh-huh. The people of YouTube love sketchbook tours. I can't figure out really why, mostly because I personally um, could give or take a sketchbook tour, but long awaited, so many comments asking for this. I hope that you guys liked it. I hope it was worth the wait. Uh, much love to my little puppy patrons. Thank you for your support. Thank you for giving me some things to talk about. Much love. Also, thank you to you for watching this video all the way to the end. Uh, happy you came, happy to see you here. Sending good vibes your way, sending hydration vibes your way, sending much love your way as well. So, if you liked, uh, oh my goodness, okay. If you liked the tour, give me a, um, just a thumbs up. Um, doesn't need to be anything special, just if you liked this video, give me a subscribe, subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to, that's okay. But I am a little surprised that you would make it to the end if you don't like it. Huh, that's interesting. Anyways, um, I will catch you guys later. I really, really hoped you liked the tour. I hope it was everything you dreamed of. And I'm gonna peace out of here. I'm leaving for real, bye. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Super cool of you to stop by. I'm psyched to see you here. Catch you on the next vid.